Well, good morning, YouTube. Hey, Rumble, welcome back to the Bass Piper channel. Hope everyone is doing okay today. I guess everybody is gone back full-fledged to work now. The holidays are over and the, um, the summer is officially technically gone. So uh, now we get to look forward to fall. I'm sitting here today in my garage having me a uh, La Aroma de Cuba. Can you see that? With this glare coming over here, it's kind of hard to see. In a Maduro, it's got a strength of right above medium. It's a medium to full Robusto. And these will set you back about between seven and eight dollars a stick. But getting some flavors, uh, it's a little bit bolder. Getting some uh, nuances of some kind of like a leather, kind of wood, woodsy leather. Um, but a good stick. I just. As you can see, I just lit it up and um, but right off the jump start, a nice a nice cigar. It's the first time I've had the uh, La Roma de Cuba uh, cigars. But um, I'm not going to be on here that I know of <laughs> very long today. Um, I'm going to turn this just a little bit, guys. There we go. Um, <clears throat> but I, I want to thank you guys who have uh, commented about the intros and things like that to uh, my new videos, learning this iMovie. Um, I'm going to pull you all down. I feel like half my... There we go. Um... And uh, it's pretty fun learning, you know, once you kind of get the basic skills of this. This is also, by the way, guys, has some pepper. I'm getting some pepper. Um, off of it. And a lot of smoke, as you can tell. Um, but um, <clears throat> I'm having a... Uh, I'm having a fun time doing that part of it. And uh, so the next few videos that I put out, you'll probably see change-ups and different things. I'm just playing with it. And um, I'm going to try to make my intro a little longer, maybe throw a few more pic pictures and stuff in there and just kind of jazz it up a little bit and get the music to run a little longer. And... Um, so I'm just going to be tinkering with this over the next probably five, six, seven, eight, ten videos. Who knows? Might change up the music. Just kind of find out what I want to do. And um, man, it's like having a new toy once you figure out what you're doing. Um, but anyway, um, I appreciate your comments and your encouragement on uh, Bass Piper learning this iMovie stuff. It does add a whole new dimension to your to your videos. I mean, I understand where, especially some of you guys that have these other more more high tech, I guess, um, <clears throat> editing programs. Um, or applications that you can do so much. The biggest thing that I've noticed with iMovie, now some of you guys that use iMovie, you can probably let me know. But um, what I've been doing has been on my phone or my iPad. I went to go to my desktop yesterday and it's almost like it's a whole different animal with iMovie on your desktop. Now desktop well, it seemed like it lets you have more, more different types of fancier intros and outros and those kinds of things. I mean, they got stuff that flips into you and then flips out as you're leaving and all kinds of craziness. 
the problem is I can't figure out how do I, how do I, um, I guess I'm having a brain fart, but trying to find how to get my video. If I took this video right here to get it on the desktop, to get it to download, I know where to go. You just go into your uh, YouTube uh, or into my videos, my photo videos that I'm videoing on it now. And just, um, I can pull off my, off my photos and it goes right into iMovie. Um, and I thought it was going to be like that on the desktop and I'm sure it is. I just can't find it. I don't, it's like a different, different setup on the desktop. So with that, um, I'm just right now doing it on my phone and my iPad and, um, that seems to be working out okay. But I'm eventually going to have to leap into the desktop and figure out what's going on. Probably take another one of my old videos and just tinker with it. I won't put it out there, uh, out here on the uh, YTPC because I've already got, got it out there. But at least I can grab one that I can tinker with and learn some more about stuff. But, um, but anyway, it's been fun and um, we've enjoyed it. So... Um, I got talked to my sister today, and uh, she she came home on Sunday, and but she said it was a grueling surgery that she had, and she's just trying to get through all of the the uh, rehab, not rehab, but just trying to you know recoup from the surgery. So, um, so anyway, again, thank you for your prayers, guys and gals, if there's any out there watching. Um, I think we've just about lost all of our gals on the YTPC. Um, every now and then, we'll find one, see one, poke their head in. But, uh, man, I'm telling you, I, uh, I, I've been noticing we are... I don't know what's going on with the YTPC with a lot of our presenters, man. We're dropping like flies out here. In fact, whatever happened to Charlie? Where did Charlie? Charlie, where are you at? Boca de Boyton, where have you been? I know it's got to be three or four months since you've made a video. And, uh, Um, Colorado Piper, where did you go, buddy? You made a few videos and hadn't seen you no more. And uh, you were coming back, but um, I don't know what happened. And uh, man, if I had my list in front of me, I mean, the list the list is is growing. That were falling off by the by the droves out here. <laughs> I just feel like um, man. I came aboard in 2020, and that's just been uh, this past October. Um, well, I'm sorry, the next month will be uh, three years. But man, I've seen a lot, and a lot of the, a lot of the stable guys and uh, folks have just gone by the wayside. So, um, but you know, I know life gets in the way. And I know eventually they'll probably one day I won't be out here putting anything on but once every six months or something. But that's why you purge. I've got into a routine with my cigars that before I draw, I purge. I used to do it every couple of draws, but I'm just now, every time that I draw, I'll purge first. Uh, and this works the same way with your pipes. If your pipes start going out, just purge, blow through your pipe. Uh, you just gotta be a little bit more careful that you don't blow your tobacco slam out of your bowl, but um, purge, it also cools the bowl 
and it also uh, <clears throat> keeps helps keep your pipe lit if it's going out. Same way with a cigar. This one was starting to die. How do I know that? Is my smoke wasn't as much. I was having to pull, and it just wasn't much there. But if you lightly blow, now the only thing about a cigar you got to worry about is as the dime, the dimes, the dimes. I said dimes, not diamonds. Dimes start coming on up back. Um, once you, you know, you got to be careful and you got to purge just slow or s slow, softer. Got an itch. Nothing itches till I get on here. Um, but, um, or either sometimes in the video you'll see me do this. I got my little pipe ashtray and I'll, I'll put it over if the dimes are long and I go to purge so in case it falls off it'll fall in the it'll fall in the ashtray guys and not all over my clothes like it did one video um, but yeah I found out that the um, the cigar taste um, the tobacco taste uh, the nuances are cleaner if you purge Like right now, see she's starting to go. Now we got her. But because um, you get on here making videos and you get you get sidetracked and you forget about taking a, a puff or two, and they start to pooter out. Plus the fact I got this fan back here oscillating, and I got another one behind me. You can't see that's blowing air this way out towards the outside. This one keeps fanning the air. I got the side door open and the big garage door open, so uh, we got a lot of ventilation going. And I think sometimes it plays uh, plays havoc with the cigars. So, um, anywho. Um, that's all I've got for today. Uh, just wanted to share with you. This is the first one that I've tried of the uh, La Roma, the Cuba. They make several uh, styles or different ones. Um, but this one here I got from my brick and mortar. It was probably like seven fifty for the stick. They're not real expensive. But it's a good cigar so far, guys. Uh, not bad. Um, this one is a little bit higher wheel, wheelhouse in strength that I normally do. But I, you know, I was getting ready to bust out. I didn't blind you, Nita, when I just took that off. I hope not. Um, I was going to bust out my Monte Cristo white, and I said, no, every time I look at those. The ones that I have in my Tupperdor. Now that Monte Cristo White I was thinking about doing today. I've had it in my Tupperdor for a year. I bought it when I was on vacation last August. And it sat in my Tupperdor just aging a little bit. And um, But uh, But um, the more I get ready to go use, use smoke that one, <sighs> I, I, I start looking at some of them and I go, I'll use those on special occasions or something. Because the Monte Cristo comes in at about $16 a stick. And it's kind of like I want to do that review on my uh, El Septimo. <laughs> But the El Septimo was $20 for a stick. And so, uh, and I only got one of those. Um, so, so, there's some of them that I just, every time I get rid of some, I go, nah, I'll just hold off. I, you know. And, um, but I'll eventually get them out here. But um, I'm getting some I'm getting getting some leather on this, and um, starting to burn a little crooked 
I don't know what it is. Bear with me, guys. I just want to get this here. It's kind of... I don't know what it is, but... Um, <clears throat> some of the more expensive ones will do this. Now, this is the first cheaper one. that has done this, but uh, they'll burn uneven. And they start going uneven, start to canoe. And, um, but, um, as you can see, I just, I just touched up that side right there, so I'm gonna try to straighten her up. So, a lot of times, too, with purging, purging will help get it straight, straightened back up as well. Not all the time, but sometimes. And Nick Perdomo showed a good thing on one of his videos. Take the, take the longer piece, the piece that's not burning with the rest, the short pieces on top and the long piece on the bottom. When you go to ash, after you ash, take it in the ashtray and bend down those corners just a little bit. Bend down the corners to help then when you relight or, or touch up it'll start burning even little tricks you learn but um anyway uh i'm gonna get on off of here i'm gonna finish up this uh this new uh stogie and uh, just kind of see how she does but so far she's doing good has a good new wants um tastes good and uh, not a bad little price for those, if you want to try one, uh, the uh, La Aroma de Cuba, uh, you might want to give. Now, this one has, so you'll know which one this one is. It comes with the red band on the end of the foot. And uh, it basically has on here, a lot of the others will have another little thing like Reserva written down here on a band or whatever it is. This one's just plain. It's just got the, I'm going to try to get this where the light will where you can see it okay anyway we're gonna get on over here out of here and uh, gonna check uh, check out this heat man we're about a 90 91 or 92 day today after we've had days in the high 70s mid 70s now we the rest of this week will be in the 90s I think Saturday we get a break and we go into the 80s But anyway, until we meet again, relax, have your pipe or your cigar. And don't forget all the blessing God gives us every day. Reflect on them every day. There's something God does for you every day, even when you don't think he is. Uh, either in a way of protecting you, uh, blessing you in some kind of form or fashion. Hey, you know what? We all get blessed by God every single day. You know what that's in? When you wake up and you're breathing and you put your feet on the floor out of bed. Thank the Lord for another day of life. You're above ground. Hey, until we talk again, you guys take care. Have a great week. We'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.